Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Guys, <laughs> if you're not subscribed to this channel, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you would, please join my channel membership. It is $1.99 to join. Um, and you do have to be at least 18 years old or older to join. It is a way to support the channel. Now, I have baby Nigel laying here. Um, actually, he was taking photos um, to put him up for sale. Um, I made up my mind that this is what I was going to do. And, of course, you know, and when you post in groups, they want you to put the date and all this and stuff. So I got creative and tried to use some of Gabby crayons and stuff. But it kept, the pens was running out of ink. Then I just ended up writing with a crayon. And so I was taking photos to show, like, his details and, you know, stuff like that. So that I could list him. So as you guys can see, this is his back. And he is very poseable and he wrinkles really nice. He got really nice wrinkles. He is actually more textured than Noah. Noah um, has more of a smoother feel. He has more of a, a texture, which I absolutely love. Um, so, but yeah, so it feels, he feels really nice. Um, he has like little bruising and stuff like that on him which is something that I really, really love in my babies. His coloring is, um, he have a yellowish color, but it's a like a, I don't know, you wanna say milky yellow? I don't know. So he can easily go for Caucasian and he can easily go for biracial. It just depends on your perception of what is, you know, you know, how your skin tones are in your family or what you're used to seeing. Um, his face is much lighter, so I think that's why a lot of people really kind of feel like he's more Caucasian because his face is more um, lighter. But it does, I mean it blends. He has the yellows and stuff in his face, but yeah. So that is Mr. Nigel and his old belly button. He is, like I said, he's, he's softy softy in wrinkles. He's very good squish. So he's a real, he's a real sweetheart. He's like really perfectly painted. Um, I actually like his painting more than I've liked a lot of the babies that I've had. Um, he just, it's just something about the way he's painted. Uh, when he first came home, I had this for him to put on. That said hello world when he was coming home that was what i was gonna put him on and i'm gonna put this back on him um now that as i started taking the photos and looking at him and just in deep thought i just don't think that i can do it but i really want to sell him just because i have phoebe she's awake i have noah he's asleep um it's a lot of money invested in them and I just would love to be able to put some money back in my bank. But I realized that I may just have to not do it. <laughs> um, I'm not, if I do sell him, I'm not looking to replace him. And definitely not with a baby of his caliber. Um, I've, I've really accepted the fact and realized that I cannot, I can't keep up with the new prices and stuff they are so much worth it but I just can't and so um I will probably be a kit chaser for the rest of my life at this point um but I really need to get over it and just keep him but it's just hard to you know suck it up and say okay get over it keep him Keep Noah, keep Phoebe, and let that be your end game. And then just collect your reborns from here. And that way you have your your perfect little set. Babies that you absolutely love, the sculpts that you love. And be okay with that. And if one day, you know, you hit the lotto or get a man that 
want to splurge on your dolls, <laughs> then you can, you know, maybe get another one. But yeah, for right now, I don't know. I don't know if I could do it. So I'm going to put a pause on it at this moment. Um, and then I'll reevaluate and uh, see what I can do. <laughs> I don't even know if you guys could see me changing him. But anyway, um, of course, the lighter colors that he put on, the lighter he looks. Um, especially when you're just showing his face. And then there's no contrast because so he appears to be even lighter. But yeah. But anyway, that is my man. That's baby Noah. Um, I should have showed you guys his movement, but I think I've showed you guys enough. He's he's very flexible. You have to hold his head and all that stuff. But I can do that in another video if I decide to sell him again. <laughs> you know, sometimes I do this and I'll do it and do it and then eventually they get sold. But every now and then there's one that I'll do it and do it and then they never get sold. And I, I mean, I never end up selling them and I end up keeping them for a very long time. Um... There's babies that I've done that with that I end up just putting in my private collection. Um, but that's, you know, I don't have much of, much babies in my private collection, to be honest. I used to do that a lot, but I've been an oversharer for a while now. And you guys pretty much see mostly of what I have to be truthful. Um, but I do hope to be able to, you know, collect a little bit more private in the future I just don't you know sometimes I, I I hate to I love to share but then I hate the sometimes the, the negative responses and stuff that you get behind stuff and it seems like in this community no matter how nice you are to a person and all the things that you you know try to do to show that you're a good person or you know like um, be happy for others compliment them on their collection and stuff like that they still will turn around and do mean-spirited things um towards you or not be happy for you when you you know you get a baby that you're really excited about so you know some, that that stuff it doesn't make me not want to collect because I'm a collector at heart and I don't do it for show but it does make me want to pull back and be more private with my collection um and I think moving forward, you know, especially when it comes to more expensive babies and stuff like that, I will. And, and babies that I really, like, really, really love, love, love. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to go. But I know that right now, the way I feel today, I feel like, you know, the community is just going downward. And, you know, no matter how many of us is trying to make it seem... I mean, make it, you know, be more positive and stuff like that. It just, some people are just miserable. And I, like I said, I took the post down the other day, but I was saying, you know, a lot of people are saying, you know, oh, because of quarantine, people are bored. They're going crazy in their minds and all this great jazz. And I feel like that's just an excuse for you just to be the devil that you are. I don't feel like me being locked in my house is going to make me be you know, like I said before, a serial killer or just hateful. And I feel like some people are just miserable and they just run around and spread negativity and they click up with these people. And a lot of people have this, um, wait, what do I call it? This, um, gang mentality. Um, I called it something else before, but anyway, I can't think right now that the damn lawnmower is going and it's driving me insane. <sighs> but um <laughs> but yeah you know everybody you know they want to be on team a team b and you know if you're for team a that means you got to trash team b it's just you know it's just petty it's it's high schoolish and it's really ridiculous i don't encourage my viewers and people that follow me to go hating on people that um i don't particularly care for but um you know it is what it is but um, I say all this to say that, you know, do something positive with yourself, you know, 
this is a time when you're sitting in the house instead of getting, you know, fatter and miserable and, you know, or not eating and getting skinnier or whatever the case may be. Um, you know, go run on a treadmill, you know, go, you know, go walking, you know, like, um, work on, I've been looking at a lot of videos for skincare and, you know, my skin, I suffer with, you know, blemishes in my face from time to time. And so I've been looking at a lot of skincare to work on my, my blotchy skin that happens from time to time. And, um, I've been working on my weight. I've actually lost weight. Um, especially in my tummy area and my size. Girl, I'm going to be snatched for the gods without surgery. Keep playing. But because um, I don't eat out anymore. I'm not eating that much meat. Barely eating meat. Although I had steak and broccoli for breakfast. But um, we're not going to talk about that. But I'm doing things to make me a better me. And I think that some people really need to focus on that and really think about that. Because the negative energy that you put out is all that you're going to get. You know, um you're, you're going to get back. And so I think that, you know, okay, if you're looking at somebody's collection and you wish that you had that and you don't understand how they got it and you got a whole attitude because they got it and you don't, well, now is the time to find out a craft or something that you could do to sell things and make money to be able to achieve those goals. You know, take this time and, and, and do things that's going to enhance you or get the things that you want. Um, hell, maybe even if you, you know, get your skin right, get your waist right, get your body right. Maybe a man might even buy you the damn doll. I don't know. But what you're not going to do is come messing up my space. <laughs> I just, I can't do it. So before I let that happen, I will collect my babies in private, paint my dolls, sell my dolls, do that part and just stick to that program. The, the share of my personal collection doesn't have to happen. I have a lot of other ways to enjoy myself in this hobby. And then when you go to attacking my work or whatever, I'm not worried about that because my work will speak for itself and the people that's going to buy from me is going to buy from me. So, you know, it's all different ways that people have to learn to look at things when people come at you. Because I think, you know, the closer you are to success or the closer you are to being blessed, you know, with more blessings and, and opportunities open up for you, the stronger people are going to come at you. Look at Phoebe. I just want to show y'all. This girl is still wearing the same outfit. <laughs> girl, you dirty. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> don't, be, don't do my baby like that because some of y'all still got on the same outfit for the last three days. Y'all ain't even changed y'all pennies. <laughs> uh, don't be talking about her. Tell them Phoebe Poo Poo. Say, baby, you you not finna do me. Tell them, they not finna do me, sweet cheeks. <laughs> oh, chat. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah. So, yeah, these over there. But yeah, um, so yeah, just 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 rethink about think about it and stuff like that. And think about the people that you, you know, think about the things that you're doing. Thinking like. Did, do you really want to be that type of person? Like, these people, when you're putting out this stuff and saying little stuff and spreading dirty rumors about people, have those people really did something to you? Or are you, what is your real reason? Like, how do you know that person? Like, some people, like, don't like somebody they never even had a conversation with. What is it that you don't like about that person? And if it's because, oh, she thinks she's all that, but you never had a conversation with her, then maybe you don't even know what she thinks because you never had a conversation with her. Oh, is it is because she thinks her collection is all that? Maybe you think her collection is all that, and so now you're projecting your emotions and your thoughts and your feelings onto that person. Or is it because your girlfriend said she did her this to her or da 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 da? But did your girlfriend tell you what she, her role was in that disagreement or how the reason why they they don't click or whatever? That like you gotta start, you know, becoming a thinker for yourself and stop letting people dictate who you are and who you become and, and your path that you take. Because I can tell you in the long run, it hurts you. And this is coming from somebody that. I have said a lot of things with a loose lip and on this channel you guys know I can be reckless and I you know I fight hard some days to
to not go there again because it's in me to say whatever I'm thinking, you know, off rip, off the top of my head. Like I, whatever I feel at that moment, whatever I think, I usually say it. And it's take a lot of discipline, a lot of growth, a lot of maturity for me to hold back. But I can tell you this from the things that I've said in the past that it, trust me, it was just like regular critique, me giving my opinion on whatever, whatever. It wasn't like as bad as it seemed, you know, but trust me, being a black woman in this community, it hits twice as hard. Yeah, and I said that, and I mean what I said. And it hits twice as hard, and you're not forgiven so quick. You, it's, it's, They will hold on to it for the rest of your life. <laughs> so, I mean, so with that being said, I know what it's like to take on those demons and I know what it's like to stand up for people in this community that won't even stand up for you won't even stand beside you when you're in the middle of a fight so is it really worth it is it really really worth it will those people go to bat for you will those people do the the, the immature things that they have you out here doing like what are you trying to prove are you wanting to be their new bestie what are you trying to prove what 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 rewards are you going to get in the end that person that you're trying to show out in front of, they live in their best life. And they ain't got no negative energy floating around them to the point where people are like, oh, she messy. Oh, she petty. She this, she that. No, that's going to be on you. You're going to be the one that artists going to be like, I don't know if I want to deal with her. You're going to be the one that other collectors going to be like, I don't want to cook up with her because she, you know, you seen what she did to so-and-so and so. You see what she has. She always got something to say about so-and-so. You know, you're going to be that one. Not, not them. But you're so busy advocating for them because you're trying to prove a point because you're that bad girl. It's not worth it. People, grow up. Grow up. Like I said, grow up. And I don't know how I went from me wanting to sell my doll to this. But somebody needed to hear this today. Can I get an amen? Hey! <laughs> Let me stop. But somebody probably did need to hear it. I know somebody needed to hear it today because, honey, I needed to say it. I needed to get it off my chest and let y'all have that. Y'all needed to have that today. Because, baby, let me tell you, I was I was so close. So close. And it's like, another thing I noticed with this community, too, if you don't pay nobody no attention and you move on with your life and you're doing things and things going positive for you, people cannot stand to see nobody doing good. And then people get so agitated because they're so desperate for your attention so they can have something to argue about and complain about. Like... My thing is, if I don't like a person and I don't jive, I don't vibe with them, and I don't want, I don't do them, you know, we're arguing back and forth, or we disputing back and forth, or whatever. I got stuff to say back and forth, doing things back and forth, and then that person just stops. That's good. You should be tired. You should be like, okay, good. She gone about her business. Let me go about mine. No, 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 no. Miserable people can't let it go. They just want to keep holding on to it, keep chasing behind it. Girl, please stop dragging it out. So, I'm just telling you guys this, and this is the last time I'm lying. <laughs> I'm about as bad as other people. I'm going to keep saying it. Do something positive with your life. Make, do, make yourself a better you. I'm working on me. I'm not perfect, but I'm trying to get there. So, that's that. Um, I will make a final decision when I shut this camera off <laughs> if I will continue with putting Noah up for sale. Um, a lot of people usually contact me not having a clue what these babies cost. Um, just so you guys know, they cost way over 5000 way over 8000 They are really up there in price. And so, um, and like I said, in private messages, and I'll say it in public, they're very expensive dolls to collect. Um, Claire Teller dolls are up there, but they are very much worth it um, it's, she puts a lot into her dolls. The sculpting is a lot. Her painting is a lot. Her rooting is a lot. Just everything that she does in her dolls is just very, very high quality. So it is definitely worth it if you got it. Um, when you don't got it, I don't know what to tell you, bro. But, <laughs> but, um, I'll let you guys know and keep you posted. But thanks guys for watching again. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And like I said, leave me a message in the comment section and I'll try to get back with you. Bye, Lola. Girl, what?